change or Rashad Milligan rolling out? That's a good question. All right. Thanks everyone for joining on Zoom. We're going to get started with Coach Sandy first. Uh, Coach Sandy has time just for a few questions before she heads off to Phoenix. So please raise your hand on Zoom. Uh, we'll get started with Jackie. Hey Sandy, congrats on the win. Uh, so you mentioned pregame that you sort of doubted that you'd be able to hold Arike to just 11. But I think if I look at the box score correctly, you all did hold her to 11. Uh, so I guess I'm just curious what you saw when it came to attention to detail, holding her, I think, what, like three of 14 yeah. from the field. Yeah, I think exactly what you said. We're very intentional with how we wanted to play, and she's a key player for them, and we made it hard for her. Um, she got the record, and what a great uh, accomplishment for her. Um, but overall, I thought defensively we had a really solid game. And and secondly, as Brian said, you're heading back to Phoenix for a little celebration that the Mercury are doing. Just sort of take us through, you know, your decision to do that, especially when on Sunday your team is going for the first seed in, in the league against the Lynx. Yeah, I mean, nothing changes. Um, I'll be back for training on Saturday. So, um, you know, they obviously asked to the, the Mercury organization, reached out to our organization and... I didn't really, you know, I'd, of course I'd like to be there. So here I am, I'm going there. So, But my focus is obviously on Minnesota. We've got a day off tomorrow, so I won't miss anything. Thank you, thank you. Safe travels. Miles. Hi, Coach. Congratulations on the win. 30 fast break points tonight, and especially early in the game, you were running with every opportunity. How did that help to generate a lot of those open three-point looks? Yeah, I think like, uh, you know, when we get stops and can get out and run, that's when we look best. But, um, you know, anytime we can get two feet into the paint, it's creating wide open threes for us. And, um, you know, we started off hot. We just got to stay a little bit more consistently hot. But I t still take 12 from 30, still not bad for 40%. Um, but I think that's the key for us. Be playing unselfish, making sure we're moving the ball and getting great looks. Jeff? Good evening, Coach. Thank you for taking the time. Um, you mentioned the defense before. You said it was a pretty solid game defensively. You held the team be below 80, like you said you wanted to during the pregame. But what did you like tonight defensively, and what do you want to clean up over this final three? Look, I just thought we executed our, our game plan, um, you know, well. Um, uh, we had a few issues there early, but McCown was getting us deep there. But I think it was just it takes five players being on the same page. Um, and that's critical for us. And knowing your personnel, how what do we want to take away from them? Um, it's just been locked in. We, you know, we've got uh, we we want to keep that number one C. We've got a big game coming up, and it's about mm -hmm. making sure that we're playing in the right way when it really matters. Appreciate your time and insight. Safe travels, Russell. Hi, Sandy. Uh, just kind of building off of that. Um, you talked the other day about how it could be dangerous to play a team like Dallas that really has nothing to lose and. You know, you win by double digits the other day, come out today, build that lead. Then Dallas cuts it to 14 um, early in the third quarter. You call that timeout. Just how important was it to you to see a more complete game tonight? Yeah, no, really important. You know, I, I thought we had a few games there. We weren't um, our, at our best um, on both sides of the ball. So it was just a little bit of, you know, just a reset, a little reset button. Okay, you know, what do we need to do to make sure that we're playing uh, great basketball and, you know, there's going to be runs. This is at WNBA, so there's going to be momentum changes. But I thought, uh, you know, after that timeout, we came out and, you know, the next two minutes we really executed at a high level that forced them to take another timeout and um, main maintain that for the rest of the rest of the game. Thank you. We'll finish with Gabe. Hey, Coach. Thanks for taking the time. You always talk about wanting to peak at the right time. After a game like this, winning nearly by 30 points and really seeming to reset after you said you kind of took this – team back to the fundamentals of playing Liberty basketball. How close is this team to that peak that you always brought, bring up? Yeah, I think uh, the last two games really helped us get back to that. Um, still, you know, just playing in the right way with the the ball. It's not sticking. We're moving it through different hands. Uh, you know, different people are scoring and being aggressive, and that's going to be critical for us. I mean, it's not just have to take one person out. I think we've got a lot of depth there that we can play in so many different ways. Uh, um, and then in the playoffs, it's just making sure you're playing your best basketball. And, and I think, um, you know, I'm happy with the way we've done the last two games. Now, obviously, Minnesota's a, a great test for us. So we're excited about that because 
um, you know, if we take care of what we need to do and maybe it's a part that we will see in the finals. And George Shaw Milligan rolling out. That's a good question. Uh, Brandon, yeah, we you want one quick question? Okay, Rashad.